going to learn about human skeleton. Let's begin. This is a skeleton. It's full of bones which protect various parts of our body. Don't get scared friends. This is just a model. These are multiple bones of human skeleton. Now let me tell you the three functions of a human skeleton. Number one. It supports our body. If you do not have a skeleton, you would be floppy and wobbly. Number two, it protects parts of our body. And number three, it helps us to move. Look, I can move because I have a human skeleton. Everyone has one. Every little. Now let me tell you about the infant and the adult skeleton. An infant has 300 limbs, whereas an adult has 206 bones. This is because some smaller bones combine and form bigger bones. Now let me tell you about our skull. It is located here. It is also called cranium. It supports our face and protects our brain from bumps. Now I am going to explain you about the stirrup. It is located here inside our ear. It is the smallest bone in our body. It is also called stapes. This is our shoulder blade. It joins our clavicle and humerus bones together. It is also called scapula. This amazing photograph is of our rib cage. It protects our heart and lungs. These are actually our ribs. They look like a cage. That's why they are called rib cage. There are 17 pairs of bones in them. Don't try counting them. This is our backbone. It helps us to move around, stand and bend. It is also called a spine. It is made up of 33 smaller bones called vertebrae. This is our hip bone. It protects our bladder. The two hip bones form the bony pelvis along with the sacrum are called pelvis. Look friends, this is the lower part of our body. You guessed it right. This is our thigh bone. It is the longest and the strongest bone in our body. It is also called femur. This is our kneecap. It is also called patella. It joins the femur and the lower leg bone together. Now let me tell you about our toes. They are also called phalanges. They are similar in structure to the metatarsals. This is our bone marrow. It is inside our bones. This is the place where red and white blood cells are made. Red blood cells help us to breathe and white blood cells fight illnesses. Now let me tell you of how to protect our bones. To protect our bones, we should eat healthy food like fruits and vegetables. We should also eat food with more calcium like milk, cheese and leafy vegetables. We should also exercise daily. I hope you have developed a good understanding of human skeleton. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Goodbye.